Hello everyone, I welcome you back in the interesting fact video session on mathematics. In the last video, I gave you a few interesting and unknown facts of mathematics. In this video, I will take you one step ahead. Let's start with the interesting facts on mathematics. The first one, do you know that we call it mathematics? We in India term this word as mathematics, whereas Americans, they call it they call it math only. Why? Because they believe or they agree that mathematics functions as a singular noun. And therefore, they say that it's not mathematics, it's math. But that's their belief. We term it as mathematics as well. That's why fact number one. Let's move to fact number two. If I write all the numbers in the English word format, if I write every word in the English word format, for example, like the kids used to speak O N E one T W O two T H R W E three and so on. The first word, the first word that has alphabet A is one thousand. Can you believe it? Right from one. In fact, if you can count zero as well, right from zero to 1000, the first word that has alphabet A is 1000. I'm sure you must have started speaking these words one by one. You can do it and you can try it. You will find out 1000 is the first word which has alphabet A in it. Ji ha. Pahla aisa word zero se count karte hue jisne alphabet A aane wala hai, wo number system ka 1000 hai. Usse pehle kisi bhi word mein aapko alphabet A nazar nahi aayega. Interesting hai? Chaliye baat karte hain. Ek aur interesting fact bhi. Interesting fact about 40. Number 40. F-O-R-T-Y. Ek lota aisa word. The only word in the entire number system which is written in the alphabetical ascending order. If you check it, S, O, R, T and Y, all the letters are in ascending order according to the alphabet. Whereas the only word which is in the reverse order or we can say in the descending order is O, N, E, 1. Highly amazing fact. 40 is the only word, only number when written in English alphabet format gives you an ascending order of alphabet. Whereas 1 is the only word which is written in the descending format. O-N-E, 1. Highly amazing. Once again, I am sure you must be delighted to see this fact. Let's move on to the next one. And a very interesting one. Some of you may be knowing the concept of pi. Those who do not know or those who have studied in their school days, let me give you a just a, a recall of the concept. Pi is with a symbol and the value of pi is written as 3.14 and hence on. But in English, it is written as P-I-E pi. Now, this is just an observation. There's nothing, nothing uh, as such a fact over here, but this is an observation. If I write, let me write it once again. So that I can show you the fact also. 3.14. If you look at the mirror image of 3.14, that is two decimal places of 3.14. If I put a mirror over here, let's see what do I get. If I put a mirror over here, I will be getting an object which looks like... Can you see this? If I look at the mirror image of this, don't look at... Don't look at my object in the mirror image. It's a, it's, a, it's a simply enlarged image. But look at the observation. 4 becomes P, 1 becomes I, and 3 becomes E. That means it's an observation. If I look at pi in the mirror, I will find 3.14. If I write pi English, I write pi ko, P, I, E. If I look at mirror image, I will find pi ke do decimal sakhi values in the mirror. Mein nazar Ya fir aap yun liye ki agar isko mein ulta ke likh deta hun, so I will be getting P I E instead of 3.14. Something good to see. One more interesting fact about pi. See, it's a very, very interesting thing. I will relate pi with pizza now. I know pizza is a very interesting, in fact a very delicious dish among the kids especially. Let me relate pi and pizza now. Let's see how. Suppose I have a pizza, 
Okay, so this is how a pizza looks like. Obviously, what I do is I take the radius of the pizza as z. Radius of the pizza as z, and the width of the pizza. If you see width, in fact, the height of the pizza. Let me assume the height of the pizza as a. I repeat, this is a pizza which has the radius z, and height of the pizza is a. Now I know this is a cylindrical object. This is a cylindrical object. This is how a pizza looks like, where height is a and the radius is taken as z. So for a cylinder, the volume is the volume of a cylindrical object is pi r square h. Pi r square h. Let me write pi instead of pi symbol. So what happens according to the diagram? This becomes p i r square is z and z and height is a. Another observation. Can you see that? So the volume of the cylinder gives you the word itself. That is pizza. I mean, it's a simple observation, a simple mathematical hunt that we have done. So what I did? Pi r square h and it becomes pizza. Let me repeat it once again. Suppose I have a pizza. Which has a radius of z, and I took the height of the pizza as a. Now this is how a pizza looks like. That is a cylinder. Volume of a cylinder. The formula for volume of a cylinder is pi r square h, pi p i r square. That is z square, and h is a. So that becomes pizza. A simple observation, as I said, but interesting. In this way, you can make the kids learn very easily. Most mathematics an interesting subject to learn. Not do not keep the Horror. Do not keep the. Uh, do not keep it as a subject which cannot be learned so easily. I hope everyone has understood. We come again with some more facts, some more magical concepts of mathematics. Children.